Welcome back to Travel Show Live, and it's history and culture is the subject matter. There is nobody better than the man you're about to meet. Now, that's what they've told me, and I've only spent a good half hour with you, and i got to tell you, I think I believe it. Randall, thank you for being here. Well, thank you for being here. We appreciate having you in the state. It really is overwhelming, the amount of history in this state alone. It's, it's really amazing. When you start to, the more you learn about it, the more you find out that it, it really is incredible. Did you get that feeling when you first started doing, at, at first at this post? Well, you know, growing up in West Virginia, we always feel that we're at an advantage mm -hmm. coming from West Virginia. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know many of the things that I've yeah. learned since I've been in this position in four years. It's just amazing. For instance, I didn't realize that West Virginia was the last slave state admitted to the Union in 1863. You would think right in the middle of the Civil War, and it was the right. last slave state, but it was south of the Mason-Dixon line, so they wanted it to be a slave state. But it was with stipulations that people at a certain age would no longer be slaves. But then, And then, did you know that the Emancipation Proclamation only dealt with the rebel states? I had not known that. I didn't know that. I know. It <laughs> only dealt with the, re the, uh, with the Confederate states. But then at the end of the war, it was a moot point because then everybody was free. And this location, what, how do you describe this location to somebody who's never been here? I mean, people are getting a chance to see a little bit of it as we talk. How do you describe it to somebody? I think the greatest thing about the museum is that uh, you, it shows you who we are as West Virginians. We have a lot of pride. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, West Virginia is the only state that is completely, uh, the complete state is within the Appalachian region. There are 14 states in the region. Of course, you know, Appalachia, the culture is very, very interesting and very, very unique mm -hmm. to the country. In West Virginia, the entire state is in that region. Uh, this is a, it just shows you why we have the pride. It shows you where our hard work ethic comes from. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you came for the early part, you see what a wilderness it was. Mm -hmm. And it shows you how those people came across those mountains and carved out a life in this wild, uh, you know, country. And then as we go further in the museum, you'll see the military zone. And you probably don't know this, but West Virginia, as the governor likes to say, is the most patriotic state in the nation because we have more women and men serving in armed forces per capita than any other state. And we also have more Congressional Medal of Honor winners per capita than any other state. And here it is, West Virginia. And here it is right here. <laughs> How long should somebody plan on spending here? On an average vacation, really? I would say take a, in, in the museum, take a good two hours. Mm -hmm. And when you come to West Virginia, you need a good week. You need to go all around the state to see all the different areas. Mm -hmm. The Northern Panhandle, the Eastern Panhandle, the Potomac Highlands, the North Central part of West Virginia. Here's what we call the metro area from here over to the Ohio River to Huntington. Mm -hmm. Wonderful things to see. And then the biggest surprises in the state you'll find in the southern part, in the southern coal fields. Just a rich history mm -hmm. of the coal industry. And you know, coal keeps the lights on. <laughs> it's our natural resources has fueled this country for years. In terms of tourism, would you consider West Virginia to, to be a marquee state in terms of tourism in the, in the perceptive minds of potential visitors? Or, or is it kind of slowly but surely just fighting its way to, to the top of the list? I think West Virginia is the best state for tourism because you have so many things here. We have a very rich history. We were the only state born out of civil conflict. Mm -hmm. We were the only state that was made by presidential proclamation. And then you think about all of our beautiful natural resources, uh, whitewater rafting, the skiing industry, mm -hmm. uh, hiking. We have the natural beauty. Uh, and then we have the friendliest people in the world. Have you found out since you've been here? Well, you know, I was going to say, it's a, it's a real shame you're not passionate about your subject matter, Randy. <laughs> I, I mean, love being from West Virginia. <laughs> I know you do. I mean, I was, a, I was an opera singer. I sang all over the world. I was 14 years in Europe. And there's no place like home. I love that. Thank you, sir, very Thank much you. for doing this. All right. We'll be right back right after this.